Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and just yesterday, LEGO officially updated their Pick a Brick site with a lot of the new parts that just came out on January 1st, 2023. So if you don't know what this is about, LEGO Pick a Brick is a service where you can purchase individual pieces directly from LEGO. A lot of these pieces are exclusive to really big and expensive sets, or don't really come in bulk, and it's a really cool way to actually get rare and new pieces directly from LEGO without having to go to Bricklink. Especially because a lot of times when pieces are put up on Bricklink, which is the secondhand market for Lego, they do tend to be more expensive when they're brand new. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because, first of all, this is a Lego Pick a Brick shopping spree. I basically go through the entire list of all of the January 1st, 2023 new elements and go through which ones I want to get. They've got minifigure pieces, they have all sorts of cool recolors, and a lot of very useful pieces. But the second reason why I am making this video is because I wanted to officially make an announcement for the Lego Bionicle fans in the audience. The next Bionicle fan and contest will be focused on the golden skinned beast. Being, we actually specifically were waiting for certain pieces to arrive on pick a brick and those pieces are the golden socket so if you look over here Zane's ice dragon from the Lego Ninjago series of core right here introduced the socket element in gold which is super exciting it's the way the wings are attached we have never gotten gold sockets before from Bionicle and they finally did it and just yesterday they appeared on pick a brick for a really good price as well I think I spent like seven dollars to get 30 of them so if you want to make a golden skin being that uses the gold sockets those pieces are now officially available now, the contest will start in about a month from now because Pick a Brick does take a good amount of time to ship. Sometimes it could take up to a month for your order to get to you if you buy it from Lego Pick a Brick. So that's why I'm going to be starting the contest in a month. But saying this now for folks who want to get a head start on their orders and really get ready to go with those. And without further ado, I think it's time to jump right into the shopping spree video. This was actually streamed on Twitch yesterday, live on Twitch. So you can actually go down to the link in the description below and check out our live streams on Twitch where I do a lot of Lego gaming, just Lego chats in general, Lego building and playing games with friends. It's a really fun time. But without further ado, I think it's time to jump right in. This is basically just going to be a redo of that live stream, which if you tuned into Twitch yesterday, thank you so much for watching that. And if not, let's get into the shopping spree right now. Hey folks, thank you all so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks Live. I just wanted to put together this very impromptu stream. I have to go to dinner in like less than 30 minutes, probably closer to 20, but something very, very exciting has happened and LEGO has finally updated their Pick a Brick website with all of the new parts for January 1st that are not licensed, which is so exciting. So this is going to be a bit of a shopping spree on Pick a Brick. Let me just go ahead and make sure the stream is set up. And folks can hop on in. Thank you all so much for being here. I will also set out a notification on Discord uh, to let people know that I'm going to be streaming my Lego Pick a Brick shopping on Twitch because this is quite an exciting day. We have been waiting for literally months. Okay, Andrew History says hi. Hello there. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, this is going to be a crazy stream. So basically, they do have ways to sort through these. Uh, Sunder0816 says hello. Hey, thanks for being here. Um, they have these set up in all sorts of different categories, and you can sort them by minifigure and whatnot, which I think is probably the smartest thing to do. The most important thing I wanted to do, though, was get a ton of these Bionicle ball joints. I mean, let's just get 30 in gold. This is what I've been waiting for. The sockets in gold are so exciting. Actually, it's only going to be 5 bucks to get 20 At that point, I might as well get 30 <laughs> And that's where the danger of pick a brick starts. But yeah, seven bucks for 30, that is not bad. And we're just gonna go down the list because there's a lot of really cool stuff here. You know, what I wanna do is I'm gonna avoid minifigure pieces for now and just get random other stuff other than minifig parts that I want to get. Because minifigures, I want to get a couple of just duplicate minifigures separately. So I'm going to wait for those. Although I do want that hat. Um, but mostly this is going to be just me getting some of the new and interesting pieces. And then I'll get minifigures after this. Uh, Andrew History says, you watch my channel on YouTube. Well, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Let me see. Okay, so we can get one of those. Let's see. Um... 
Ooh, that's interesting. I don't think I need that, though, but they've got... So what's really cool is that on here right now... Ooh, the fingers. I do want the fingers. Um, they have pretty much every single piece uh, that is available in any non-licensed set. They have those fully available, which is super cool. Uh, James Taylor says, Hi, Duckbricks. How are you doing today? I am doing good. Thank you for asking. How about you? I am doing very good, especially after seeing all these parts go up we have been waiting literally months for these and finally they are here and wow that that cart is gonna start getting more and more expensive but i am very very excited now hmm, what i do want to do is at least get a couple of minifigure pieces of just general stuff that i think are just cool torsos to have i want to save the really special minifigures like the monkey kid pieces which they have all of the lego monkey kid pieces which is very cool available for purchase but i will save getting those until the near the end of the video. Ooh, the friend's wheelchair is, of course, very nice, although that does need the wheels, so maybe I'll wait till I can get the wheels with it. And this is just page one out of a ton. Ooh, that's gonna be a good... Ooh, $3? No, I don't want to get that for three bucks. Let me see. What else do we have here? Oh, cool. This is actually a really interesting piece. They've got, like, the Minecraft shulker box piece. Ooh. Okay, they have all the pieces for this. I do want another of those helmets. That is a cool bolt piece. Ooh, the tail in yellow. I feel like that's going to come in handy. I'll get a couple of those. And these are all basically new pieces. Like, these just released January 1st of this year. It is now May, so it's been a little bit of a while, but it does make sense because... Lego does basically wait a little bit until putting all these cool pieces on pick -a brick for at least a few months. That is their policy, so that's why they haven't appeared until now. Now, for some of these, I want to check the Bricklink prices because I don't want to pay for something more expensive on pick -a brick than I could on Bricklink. So I know that we've got the... Um, let me just go over to Bricklink here. And I do want to search up the Jazz Club one. Oh, Pine Yep says, Pine here. Hey, thanks so much. Recognize you from Discord. I, we were just talking about this. Is Monkey Kid a good LEGO theme to try out? I would highly recommend LEGO Monkey Kid. I think it's one of the best LEGO themes ever in terms of set designs. It's also one of the best in terms of the story as well. Like, the original story is pretty good. So I would definitely recommend trying it out. Um, okay, so we have... The only, I guess, downside of Monkey Kid is that sometimes the sets are a bit expensive. A lot of the time, the sets are pretty expensive. But the good thing is you can get all the minifigures now on Pick a Brick. Now, I did really like this outfit, but it is $3.54 on Pick a Brick. Now, it is exclusive to the modular, so if I wanted to get this, all right, $10 in the US. Actually, that does sound like it would be cheaper on Pick a Brick, so I do think that would make sense. Oh, I like that. I like this hair piece. Where are the other... Ooh, I also very much like that torso. Yeah, okay. Lots and lots of good stuff here. Ooh, the spear. Definitely wanted some of those. What are... What is this? Sometimes they don't have pieces. Uh, sometimes they don't have the images on pick a brick, so you have to kind of look up... Ah, here we go. What is this? Oh, that's weird. Can I just find the... Oh, just that. Okay, I don't care about that. Bones. What is bones? Let's figure out what that is. I don't think... Bones. What is 77100? Oh, dog bones. Oh, this might be... What color is this? Bright yellow dog bone? Oh, that's interesting. Sure, I will grab one. Paco Pup says, hi, hello there. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrew Sir says, do I have Instagram? Yes, I am duck underscore bricks on Instagram. James Taylor, do I think Bionicle will ever come back? Um, honestly, not. Never in its original form. There is a chance that something, either a spiritual successor or Lego could try to reboot Bionicle at some point. But I would not count on it. And personally, I would love to see Lego just do more new and interesting things other than just go back to old things. So I am all for having something other than Bionicle be taking the forefront for now. Ooh, speaking of Bionicle though. Ooh, these are only 50 cents? Okay, I'll get a couple. Like, yeah, why not? Um, I don't know what I would do with extra printed pieces from the Bionicle GWP, but they are on Pick-A-Brick, so that is very nice. 
Super cool to see those. Oh, that's nice. $3 for the cape, though. That feels high, but I always regret not getting capes and then missing out. Okay, shopping cart. That's cool. Um, I did want the base. Okay, I already got that. Ooh, the new pizza. A dollar, though? I'm not paying a dollar for the new pizza tile. Um, the Jazz Club sign is cool, but I don't think I would use it for anything. So I don't know if... Ooh, I do want the red, the, the red skull. is very nice. This is super cool. I actually will get a couple of those. Um, what else? Okay, so that's cool. I don't need the arms, though. Oh, these are all the dots tiles. I probably want... If they're only 11 cents... Let me just get all the exclusive dots tiles before they sell out. I think that's probably a smart move because it's much... Wait, they made this in a different color? In what set? I didn't even realize they already did... Oh, is that the shulker box? I'm so dumb. Yeah, no, of course. Okay. So it was medium lavender in the Minecraft thing and then tan in deep dark battle. Okay, that's why they had both already. I do want to grab both though. Ooh, that's the lion... Um, Azure Lion's Cape from Monkey Kid, which I will get, but not now, because I'm going to get the Monkey Kid stuff separately. Ooh, this is a cool printed tile. That's very cool. What am I at? $65? Okay, I'm not, like, doing awfully here. Like, yeah, I'm spending a fair bit of money, but it's not that bad. I do want to get 10 of these for fingers, in case I want to use fingers. Penguin hat. Oh, $5 for the penguin hat. But it is really nice. It is really cute. Um... Okay, uh, hat is nice. Paul C says, Chris, working through the new pick a brick releases, you've always wanted to see me how I work this. Well, yeah, you can get a behind-the-scenes look right now. It really is kind of not as complicated as you may think. It is mostly just a matter of me, like, going through and seeing things that I find interesting. Um, there is a process by which I will get specialized minifigures later on, but, ooh, they have the firing bow. Oh, my goodness, that's so cool. Okay, very excited for that. Oh, and they have these. Okay. Okay, that's very cool. I do want to get... I don't know if I'll do, like, a mock with these or something, but I feel like something would be cool with these. Your pick brick halls are legendary. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, we've got... Oh, these are the exclusive tiles from the Great Wave set. Uh, do I still call them with special orders? They have stopped acquiescing to my requests, so I no longer do that. Um, but... I do, but thankfully they, they have most things on here. Unfortunately, no new Ninjago pieces, which is sad. This is really nice. Getting that in black for a new piece is cool. Ooh, I, $3. I do like that, though. Um, these are all new animals. Oh, that's cute. I mean, I definitely already have, because I, I own all the sets these come from. It's just that sometimes I do want duplicates of rare stuff. Okay, that looks like a lot of friend stuff. Okay, the half... The new half burp is interesting. I did want to get that. Oh, and they've got to have the, the dark blue Technic stuff from the March releases. Okay, that's very interesting. I do want some of that. Not these pieces, but some of the other ones. I love how creative the minifig heads are from Monkey Kid. Yeah, the Monkey Kid graphic design is really cool. Uh, black paddle. I feel like that's going to be useful for, like, something. Okay, another dots piece. That's Let's get the unique dots pieces. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Why not? Okay, what are we at? $100, not super bad. Oh, wait, the Forest Men hats are back. Did I already? Okay. No, in a previous pick-a-brick order that I haven't shown off yet, um, this is, how many did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, looks like 20, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm going to assume that's 20. Okay. Yeah, looking through one of my old pick brick orders here. Um, so I already got 20 hats from a previous order, which is great. Oh, okay, and then I think that's the end of it. That's everything. Um, however, I believe that there's a couple of pieces that are... Ooh, that's cool. That are back in stock. So these ones have been on pick brick for a while, but I wanted to get the Forest Men torsos. Specifically the Forest Men torsos. Um, I'm also, ooh, yeah, so these have been there for a while. Um, the thing is actually interesting about this is that when you order one of these for $8.96, you actually get all three flags. They are listed separately, but just PSA so you know. Um, you can get multiple ones at once. Oh, they've got all the shields, which are nice, but I've already got those. Where are the forest men? Oh, yeah, and the base plate. The dark blue base plate is really nice. I got one of them, but I think I'm going to get another one because those, I feel like, are useful for my wall displays. 
Um, dark blue is just a cool color to get in general, so I'm going to get another one. Where are the... Hmm. I don't remember that style of Lionite piece being available. Let's just get like, I don't know, like 20 of those? Yeah, it sounds, sounds okay. Um, okay, let me see here. What else? I'm looking for the Forest Men torsos. What are we at? 126. Okay, not awful. We're not doing super bad, especially because I'm probably going to just use VIP points for this. Um, hmm. <laughs> okay, I've gotten a couple. I think I've gotten a couple of those, but we'll get one more. That style of shield, I've gotten a few of. Okay. There we go. Armor. Yeah, where is the... I know the Forest Men pieces were back in stock for a little bit, but maybe I missed out on it because... I'm not seeing them. These are all the monkey kid stuff from last year now okay so we're into last year let me just check like we also want to find the bricklink monkey kid january sets let me see 40567 so the cool thing about pick a brick is that you can also just go by the number here hmm I'm guessing... Oh, uh, oh! I already have 20 in my cart. Oh, okay. We're good. So I got 20 hats. I assume 20 shields. Do I want 20 bows? Okay, no. So I have the forest men pieces already. Ooh, I do want 20 of these. Okay. I like how they were already sitting in my cart. That's a, that's a classic duck bricks moment. It really is. like, <laughs> Just like, oh yeah, I already like planned to get that. And just... Oh, okay. So now what we want to do is, what I'm curious about are the prices of minifigures from the Monkey Kid sets. Because you can get pretty much any of them you want. But I don't want to pay more because sometimes they're expensive on pick a brick. So we're going to just look at all of these characters here. Team hideout, da, da, da. let's get to minifigures. Where are the minifigs at? Oh, it was like Eagle? Yeah. Okay, so we've got Sandy, Monkey Kid Casual, May Casual. These are the only cool minifigures. I do want the Eagle, but I want him with the wings. Okay, so there's the Eagle. Ooh, I wonder if they have Mr. Tang in the full robes. I hope they do. That'd be very cool. Power Up MK, and then Azure Lion. Okay, so let's just look at, like, how much is this... $14. $14 to get the Yellow Tusk Elephant, which I do want to get a couple of because I think it's just a cool character. 80043. Let's see. How much is this going to be? Um. Okay, so 71 cents for that. Oh, cool how they have this. I don't need any more of these. I have way too many of those, but... Um, okay, wait, actually, what we want to do is we now just want to go to minifigure accessories, minifigure parts. Well, no, I saw the elephant pieces earlier, so maybe this just isn't... You know, oh, animal, is it, could it be under animals in nature? Okay, no, I, I saw them earlier, like when we were, okay, we're just going to look at all the parts at once. Um... Where are... I know the elephant pieces are here. Because I'm pretty sure I saw them when we were scrolling through earlier. Huh. You know what, maybe... I thought I saw them, but let's just sort... Okay, 400 newest, and then we're just going to go by minifigure accessories, minifigure parts, fabric, I think is a good one, and then see what that brings us. Okay. These are all out of order. Uh, okay. Hmm. They are not listed in that set for some reason. Thank you, Phantom Kieran, for letting me know. Um, interesting. Okay. Well, we'll find them. Okay. Well, there's there's the Mr. Tang ones. Uh, do this. Wait. Oh my goodness. Forty dollars in the U.S. 
Oh, okay. Well, then at that point, this is just like profit. <laughs> $40 to get this one. I'll get like four and I'll, I'll, yeah. Oh, thank you so much, Captain Raptor, for subscribing on Prime. Really appreciate it. Yeah, okay. Well, if, if that's $40 on Bricklink, then absolutely, by all means, I will happily... Yeah, see, there's the elephant stuff. Ooh, seven? Seven? How much was the elephant? Fifteen. Still cheaper. Not a lot, though. Like, eh. Oh, this is also eight dollars. Whoa. Okay, well, I think that's still worth it, because if he's 40 then we should just get a few of him um, to keep in reserve. I feel like that's just a smart thing to do. Um, so what are the legs? The tan? Okay. That's it. That's, that's all the minifigure is. Okay. Um, what I would like to do is figure out if these pieces are here. Oh. 80045. Can we go to 80045? And what I want to do... Category, minifigure, accessories, minifigure... No, so they didn't... So some of the pieces are... Oh, no. Okay, well, we're fine. Uh, some of the pieces are just not associated with the sets they're in, which is kind of annoying, because now I just need to, like, go piece by piece and look for them. Um, which is fine, but it's just, like... Okay, let's see. Um, Captain Raptor asks, You record some videos over a green screen and key in my Lego room when I'm away from home. Yes, but only when I'm most desperate, because usually with my YouTube videos, I have things scheduled for really well in advance, but sometimes I think there are a couple, yeah, like, I think, like, this video is scheduled for January 16, 2025, um, so, like, I should have a ton of videos scheduled for far, far into the future, uh, however, sometimes LEGO will send me things and they have time-specific release dates, so if I'm traveling at the time and I need to put that video out, then I will just green screen it. But I think I only did it for like four videos. Uh, there was a period. Let me let me find the period of my channel. Okay, let's just go. Boom, boom, boom. These are all scheduled, scheduled. Okay. Um, there was a period in which I was doing videos. It's around this time, um, where stuff that I had to do news on was green screened. So I think the green screen ones. Probably the Indiana Jones sets. I would imagine. I think I had to green screen that one. Um, let's see. Let's find out. Yeah. Little... Oh, no, no. So I, I thought to pre-record that. So which ones did I... Oh, maybe these ones. I probably had to green screen this one. I think? Or unless I also thought of that... No, I thought that... Oh, well, hey. Okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um... So there were a couple that I had to green screen. I, I think it was... Oh, it was the Guardians Volume 3 set reviews. Where are... Yeah, here. This one's green screened. Yeah, look at that. That's super green screened. Yeah, I just, I was away from home and I just could not do that. Um, yeah. <laughs> look at you not building a Lego set on Microsoft's time. Hey, I'm working at the same time as that as well. I'm just great at multitasking. <laughs> oh, but, um, okay. Let me see. I still haven't found the legs. I'm gonna be very sad if they just do not have the legs for, wait. Punching foil sheet. That is interesting. Is that for the monkey kid mech? Plastic sheet for 80045. Ooh, that's this. How much is that? Five. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, why not? That's cool. That's cool. Um. Thoughts on the Bowie Guardian set? Actually, really good. You can check out the full thoughts on my review on the Duckbricks YouTube channel. <laughs> no, but I, I do think it's a really good build. There are some inaccuracies about it. After seeing the movie, I definitely feel that it could have been maybe a bigger set. I really do hope that at some point LEGO will revisit it down the line. Um, where LEGO, I think it would be really cool if LEGO were to actually go down and figure out um, a bigger version of it. But I, I still think it would be, it's still very cool. Okay, those are the legs I want. That's why I didn't find them, because $5 for the legs? Oh, because they're probably printing on the side or dual molded. Um, still cheaper than $40 for one minifigure. Uh, yeah. Palsy says, what did you think of Guardians of the Galaxy 3? I really liked it. I, I've watched it twice now. Um, 
I, I've seen it twice. I saw it with a big group of friends, like opening night, which was super fun. We were, it was, it was a blast. And then I saw it again with family, uh, literally, like, ten minutes ago. Like I got back home from the movie ten minutes ago, and I was like, oh shoot, pick a brick updated. So I just hopped on stream. I need to go very soon. Um, but yeah, I, I really, really liked it. Um, I think it was probably one of the most solid. MCU movies we've gotten in a while. I really liked... This This is expensive. How much is... $28 for Azure Lion. Yeah, I'll just get, like, a couple more. Why not? Um, uh, the danger of pick-a-brick. But yeah, no, I, I really, really liked it. I thought the villain was was absolutely despicable, as good villains are. I, I really... At, by, like, I mean, I, I guess I'll get into minor spoilers, so my apologies... Uh, mute if you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 3 yet slash care uh, about getting spoiled, but um, I thought it was phenomenal. I thought the characterization was great. I thought that the the main characters having all of their arcs come to some sort of a resolution by the end of the movie was so satisfying, and it really felt like the conclusion to an era in ways that other movies are not, and I am a big, big fan of James Gunn. Uh, James Gunn can, like, I think I've liked pretty much all his movies, and I think it's also really cool how you can see that James Gunn improves as a filmmaker as movies go on. Like, he he is improving every time he makes a movie. There's, like, I think they get better and better. I love The Suicide Squad. I think this was better. Um, I also have, am a big fan of the first two Guardians movies, but I might actually rank them 3-1-2. I, I, maybe that's recency bias. I would need to let it sit for a little bit, like, let it cook in my mind, but... So far, my ranking is is three one two because three I felt was so good. One is amazing. Like one is establishes the characters and it's so good and everything about it is great. Except for I felt the villain of one, uh, Ronan, was just not super interesting. He was the perfect cookie cutter villain for like the first outing. I think it makes total sense that he was the villain. Like I, I think it's it's fine for the first team introduction movie. They had enough on their hands to introduce anyways. Um, one, two, six, one, eight. So that's fine, but then I feel that Guardians 3 is where it really hits its stride, where it's like, okay, not only are all the characters really good and the storyline's really good, but the villain is one of legitimately the best MCU villains that I've ever seen. So I'm a big, big, big fan of that. Yeah, I, I love I love Guardians. Uh, Guardians 3 was great. What did, what did other folks think? Um, High Evolutionary was a true villain. He is great in Peacemaker. I'm really glad that he was able to get his big screen debut on this because, yeah, um, Chukwudi, uh, I, I don't want to mispronounce his last name, but um, he is in... I, Peacemaker, if you haven't seen it, is is one of James Gunn's best works. I think Peacemaker is is pretty phenomenal. I, I think it's one of the, the best shows that he's done, um, which is why I'm so excited for... Uh, for the Guardians, or sorry, for the DC future film slate, because I trust James Gunn to handle it well. Um, but yeah, Peacemaker was great, and there are a couple actors returning from Peacemaker in Guardians 3, and that was very cool to see. It's like James Gunn, uh, I think it was, her name is slipping me, James Gunn's wife, which I think she's pretty solid as an actor, and was very good in Guardians, and then, of course, the High Evolutionary uh, was also amazing. So, big fan of that. How come the Golden Master, Mara Lloyd, and the Time Twins minifigures are so expensive in Bricklink? That is a good question. I feel like it's because a lot of those only came in one or two sets. Like, the Golden Master came in one set, uh, Lloyd, Mara version came in two sets, I think, and then the Time Twins only came in one set, and it wasn't a very popular set, so I do think that it's because they were so exclusive to certain sets. That's why they're very expensive, and they're pretty prominent characters, like, people... People really latched onto them for some reason, um, so I think that that is definitely one of the big reasons as to why those are so popular on Bricklink. Okay, so I don't think the elephant fifteen. Like I don't know if I it would be worth it to get it because I'm paying almost the same much on Bricklink or same price on Bricklink than I am for this. But uh, well, eighty two cents. I, I do think it's the other pieces are expensive, though. So, like, what if I just got... Ooh, yellow... Oh, the petals. Okay. 
that's right, the flower petals. That's why I was like, where did the yellow shields come from? Um, so, I mean, we'll get a couple elephants. I think it's always interesting to get. Yeah, the six, it's $6.49 for the elephant wrap. So that's, I think that's where I'm getting hit. Um, but that's fine, because I think it's doable. I would just like to figure out, okay, what are the legs he has? These ones, right? Yeah. And then did I get the purple? I think I got the purple armor earlier. Um, okay, come on, let's find things here. Yeah, so I, I do want to get four. Okay, let's bring that. Can we collapse this? There we go. Okay. Um, Eagly is the breakout character of the DCEU. I, you probably know this, but uh, Eagly was also in Guardians 3. Like, it was actually the real Eagly was in the... There was a scene at the end with a ton of animals. I don't want to spoil it, but the actual Eagly was there, which I thought was very cool. Yeah, Golden Oni Lloyd used to be the most expensive minifigure until the magazine figure dropped, which is crazy. I mean, I think it's very cool that LEGO is putting those figures in, in magazines. I think that's just something that's good on LEGO for doing that. Obviously didn't have the mask, so they, they know what they're doing. Like, they didn't really give you the entire thing, but it was close enough where, like, if you wanted the Golden Oni Lloyd version, like, that he wears throughout Crystallized, like, you can, you can get it if you want to, which I think is nice. Oh, interesting. Okay, so those are the print legs printing on the side. I'm gonna guess that this is also the Monkey Kid, the, or the Monkey King legs? Yeah, bright light orange, yeah, okay. Um, don't need that, so I have, what do I have of the Peng? I've got the head and the legs, so I need the torso, the wings, and the beak, which I all saw. It wouldn't be that, no, okay. Mini mask, not mini beak, mini mask. Okay. I think Eagly was in the, um, I watched it again today, like, looking for him, because I saw James Gunn said on Twitter he was, like, in it. And you can see one of the eagles, uh, there's, I don't want to spoil it too much, but there's a final scene with a ton of animals kind of running towards the camera, and he's kind of at the far right of the screen. And I, I specifically looked out for Eagly, I was like, I wonder if I can find him, and he was, he was there, yeah. So, um, that was very cool. Oh, of course it's not called Wings, it's called some, oh, but no, I think I remember I saw this earlier, so eight. I need to go to dinner, like, now, okay. Uh, let's be very quick, I've... Do not want to keep my friend waiting. Um, you predict that Lloyd Zane and Pixel will outlive the rest of the ninja in the series timeline and lore. I agree. Yeah, I I think so too. That that makes sense. Um, ooh, but I also need to get the hair pieces. I forgot about the hair pieces for these characters. Okay. Not 41. Oh my god, that's gonna kill my price. I don't want 41. I no. <laughs> I want four. There we go. Okay. You want an eagly and duckety buddy cop film? Yes! Must make it happen, James Gunn. Okay. Well, I think I, I, I need to go, like, right now. Um, so I probably should... Yeah, 7.43. I think that is about everything. Uh, 7.44. Okay. Yeah, I need to... Let, let, one last sweep. One last sweep. Oh my goodness, let's let's do a one minute sweep and then go. I, I must go to dinner. This is, yeah, I do not want to keep people waiting, um, but let me just do one very quick sweep. Okay. Da, 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 da. What is this? What is that? I, I don't know. Okay, no photo. Um, don't need that, don't need that. Ooh, that's cool. I'll get that. Um... Okay, uh, I don't think I need that. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, but there's a torso. Okay, then I do want that. There we go. Okay. Um, ooh, that's actually kind of useful. Wait, do they have the Speed Champion's new snot pieces? Um, oh, I don't think they do, actually. Is that, a, is that an opalescent one-by-one -one stud? All right, let's get, let's get one. Um... Oh, 
Mr. Dot's piece. That feels useful, but I also don't know. Um, okay, we should hurry. Okay, cool hair. Yeah, why not? Um, see, this is dangerous now that I feel like I'm on a time crunch. Like, it's just make me impulse buy more things. Okay, that's fine. Nothing there. Green bar is interesting. I'll get one of those. Um, this is going to be a crazy haul video when it comes. Okay, uh, just one base. Yeah, it's two bucks. I don't. I, I, mean, I don't need any of this really. Um, okay. Yeah. I know. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, the, the mo. -ca okay, I'm going to get one. One more of those. That's nice. Um, yeah. Why not? Those are cool. Uh, already have spares of that from Ninjago sets. 30 of those. Oh, yes, let's go. Um, okay. I think we are good to go. Okay, good to go, good to go. Add to bag. Does this qualify for GWPs? Let's find out. That would be nice. Sure, why not? Oh, it does. I do get gift with purchases. Okay, that's cool. Um, and what I do really want to do is I think it would be very cool to use VIP points for this. So this is what? How much is how much money is this? 200 something. Oh my. Wait, why? $312. Oh my god. Okay. That's a lot to spend on just pieces. But okay. Um what we want to do, oh my, I need to go. <laughs> Choose your discount, come on. Yeah, let's just redeem a couple of these. Oh, I can only get two? Okay, let's just... Nobody use these, please. I'm trusting everyone on stream not to, like, immediately place an order. Like, please don't. <laughs> but what we are going to do is we are now going to use these codes... Get a good old discount, $92. Okay, looking good. Okay, so that took $200 off our order, which is super nice. And now I am not going to stream where my address is because that would be very silly. And just go on back to, do I have just a webcam? Okay, oh wow, that's a big, big camera. Okay, we'll be in this corner for now. Let me just do my checkout process. And Time to go, 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 very soon. Okay, get my credit card. Boom, boom, boom. Um, t -t 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 that's the code. Place order and pay. And this gets three free gift with purchases. Oh, well, one of them is a catalog. Oh, that's a little silly. Okay, well, two, two gift with purchases. Okay, I think the order has been placed. That was a really fun video showcasing my latest haul. And I can't wait for presumably in like a month from now or two months for things to get going yeah all right well i have to go right now so thank you all so much for joining this very quick and impromptu stream that was a very fun time going through all the new pick a brick stuff and now you can go ahead and place your own orders as well because there are a lot of new stuff for the bionicle fans in the audience we will be officially starting you heard it here first officially starting the Bionicle Golden Skinned Being Fanon Contest in about a month from now to allow time for these pick a brick orders to actually arrive at your house. So, if you're looking to enter that, definitely go to pick a brick and place your order for the gold sockets now before they run out of stock. All right, and with that, we have summed up this amazing Lego pick a brick shopping spree. Thank you to Lego for finally putting these pieces on pick a brick. Usually, they have said it takes around six months from a piece to be introduced in a set for it to appear on pick a brick. And yeah, it's been almost six months, so they are absolutely sticking on schedule. Very happy they are doing this. Now, there are a few pieces that are notably missing. Unfortunately, Ninjago minifigures no longer appear on pick a brick. I think Lego is treating it a lot more seriously as a theme, and they're starting to realize people are buying specific Ninjago sets just for the minifigures, so they have chosen not to put those on pick a brick. Unfortunately, it's a little bit sad because back in the good old days, literally every single Ninjago minifigure could be bought off of pick a brick. They did this all the way up to the Seabound wave and stopped a little bit after Seabound, so 
that is a little unfortunate. Thankfully, Monkey Kid is still there. As you just saw in the video, I got a ton of the new Lego Monkey Kid minifigure pieces. A lot cheaper than they are on Bricklink as well. There was that one $40 Mr. Tang minifigure that was just crazy expensive on Bricklink, which you can get on Pick a Brick for like, I don't know, like eight to $10. So it's really nice how they're able to do that for folks who do want those characters. But without further ado, we have summed up this latest Pick a Brick haul. Thank you all so much for tuning into Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. And bye for now.